Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be talking about a mystery that we have for this unit. But to get it started, I'm going to light two candles here. Okay. Uh, one of those candles, the one in the back, is a regular candle. And the one up here in the front is a trick candle. Or one that you've probably seen at like a birthday party or something where um, it relights. And so the two questions that we're going to be looking at first here are, um, you know, how do these candles work? The trick candles, that is. Uh, describe what's happening, and then what do you think is causing this? So I'm gonna pretty much, I'm gonna try not to, you know, jump back too much, but um, you can see that we have two candles. The one in the back is a regular one, and the one in the front is a self-lighting one. Um, I'm going to blow both of them out, and you're going to kind of compare and contrast what happens after they're blown out, and. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to figure out a reason. Actually, you can already see it's kind of sparking a little bit, which is interesting. But here we go. There we go. I think I got it that time. Take a look at that again. So what do you think is the cause of this trick candle being able to relight itself? Now, the last couple of questions are kind of interesting and weird, and they sound like they're fake, but if we had an accurate enough measuring device, we'd be able to figure this out. So if I were to weigh this candle before versus after, okay, so obviously it's burning, so it would be, you know, quote unquote, losing mass. But if I were to get a very accurate scale, grab all the particles that have burned and then weigh them, uh, those particles would weigh 40% more approximately. And so the question is, why do you think that after blowing out the candle, <laughs> it's really not blowing out, uh, why do you think it weighs more? And that is our mystery for this unit. What do you need to know and what questions do you still have? 